Welcome to the Ausgel Podcast, where we bring the gel ball community together. Each week, we have a special guest where we talk about what's new in the world of gel ball, be it mill sims, speed ball, and everything in between. Now, welcome to our host. Hi, I'm Dan from Ausgel. Hi, I'm Tegan from One Shot. And today, I'm joined by Townsville Gel Blaster field and business owner, Tegan Maynard. Tegan, uh, thank you very much for joining us. You have been instrumental in the growth of the gel ball industry up there in Townsville. Tell us a little bit about your background and your journey that led you into the gel ball industry. Well, thanks for having me, Dan. Um, basically, it all started about four years ago. My son and my partner, Drew, um, got their first job glasses from the show. Um couldn't wait to get home and upgrade them. Uh, Drew, being a mechanic by trade, uh, cannot help himself. Um, once our friends saw them, we tend to, you know, grow it more and upgrade more. And we started ordering more in for friends and then friends of friends. And we started a little store underneath our house that we ran after work. And I think within six to eight months, we got into a shop. Um, we are now in a hundred, uh, sorry, thousand square meter building with a shop and a field um we are eating breathing living gel soft <laughs> Fantastic. so yeah it um grew quickly and mate it's it's a great field you know i've been up there to visit as as you well and truly are aware and um and i was quite impressed with the setup that you've got up there it's a fantastic field you've got a really professional looking uh store up there but um i mean look one shop seems to have grown hugely in popularity over the past couple of years. Um, let's talk about the field. What's it been like running a field up there? Um, well, look, it it is in a league of its own, really. Um, much like your gel city down there, we have both the, the speedball and CQB concept to our field. Um, we do, however, run the entire field in our comps. Um, so it, it is that mixed format. Um, so that's where we are like no other. Um, we also set a, a pretty hectic uh, atmosphere. We have music blaring throughout the games, um, so it is quite hard to communicate. Um, we have the, the polished cement, so the, the speedy boys love the sliding up and down the field. Of course. Um, and it's, it's an extremely quick field. Um, but, yeah, we love it. Nice, nice. And, and the store side, um, you know, what, what's it like running the store in Townsville? I mean, do you, do you get many regional visitors coming in from, you know, the far reaches of northern Queensland there? Yeah, look, um, we definitely benefit with being a, a family run and own business, uh, being able to go that extra mile um, with our customers and, hmm. and have that little bit of, I guess, unprofessionalism with them um, in that aspect. Um, plus, we, we run our regional comps. Uh, four times a year and our state comps twice a year. So our, our, you know, customer base is extremely wide, that's for sure. That's good. And and speaking of running those comps, what what's it like playing in the Townsville Heat? That must be absolutely killer. Uh, look, it's not great. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, we have fans uh, in our setup zone. We, we can't have them out on the field, obviously. Yeah. It'll, um, you know, sway the gels and whatnot. Being an indoor field, we like uh, for things to ni- be nice and still. Uh, we do our best to try and, um, you know, cool down the field before we play and do games at night where we can. Um, yeah. But at the end of the day, it, it just sucks, yeah. Yeah. And, I mean, it is a sport, so, you know, it's, it's expected that people are going to sweat you know, at That's some stage. It. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> but, mate, uh, Teagues, you're a fantastic advocate for females in the industry. You, you've always struck me as someone who displays a lot of confidence and, um, and, and you seem to be very be very competent in in what you're actually doing um what are the advantages and disadvantages of being a female business owner in our industry well thank you um being a business owner is uh nothing new to me i owned my salon for 10 years uh prior to doing gel blasters um and prior to that i grew up in weepa which is um a mining town so extremely male dominant Yep. Um, so again, nothing new, but I'll tell you one thing, it does not get easier. <laughs> yeah, I'd imagine. Um, I've, I've, um, become very good at biting my tongue and learning that a uh, derogatory comment says more about them than it does me. Um, yep. and then I just, uh, you know, drop my bomb of, of job all knowledge on them and, and tend to school them. So it, it's not too bad. <laughs> and, and Weeper, that's, that's like right up on the North coast there somewhere, isn't it? Yeah. Like the North. Yeah, it sure is. 
of Queensland? Um, yeah, 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 right up the tip. Yeah, wow. There you go. All right. Um, now, what what's your favourite and least favourite things about gel ball? My favourite things, as cliche as it's going to sound, is uh, easily the people. Um, yeah. Being able to watch two, of, you know, well, not just two, but um, heaps of people that are completely incompatible and, and would never kind of mingle under any other circumstances become really good lifelong friends. Um, it's just awesome. And, and watching the support across, you know, the gel ball community is, is absolutely brilliant to see. I, I find that we tend to be able to get it a lot more than other sports um, because we are that niche sport, I think. Yeah. Um, my least favorite thing would be the, the gel armor, the gel ball drama, um, you know, sometimes you can throw the olives off the olive tree at people and, um, they still don't kind of tend to come around. Um, and that, that's sad to see, but, um, you know, it's something that we kind of just try and move past and, and concentrate on bigger and better things. That's good. And mate, you know, it's, uh, it's great to see people like yourselves and there was, uh, even Damo at CQ Blasters, um, when, when the first Southeast Queensland held, um, Australian Gel Blaster League took place. You know, you, you brought a team down from Townsville. You came down. We did. You know, it's it's just so cool to see people from the far reaches of the state coming together in one location, um, often at significant cost to yourselves as well. And, yeah. um, you know, that was – it was so cool to see you down here. That, that was fantastic. All right. Now, you, you did say earlier that you, you sort of uh, try to run a field that caters to a few different crowds, but – do you personally have a preferred style? Do you like sort of speedball or do you like milsim? Speedball. Speedball? Yeah. Easy, yeah. What is it about speedball uh, that make, you like? Snakes and spiders are not for me, no thank you. Yeah. <laughs> no, fair enough. And um, is, is that the main reason? You just don't like the creepy crawlies out in the bush sort of thing? or? Yeah, 100%. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of the, the camping and – um, I, like, you know, I enjoy going outdoor camping, but I mean, in the game, the, the camping and, and waiting for people to come to shoot them. I, I just like to rail people in the face and have a lot of fun <laughs> <Nice>. doing it. <laughs> Super aggressive. Love it, dude. Love it. Yeah. All right. Um, now, when, when you did come to Southeast Queensland, what, what did you think of the scene when you came to visit coming from towns or what, what were your first impressions? Oh, look, I love the guys down there. Hey, like we have um, such a great um, relationship with a lot of the guys down there now. Um, we talk to them daily. Um, so the people down there were so welcoming um, are still so welcoming. Um, you know, we have had a, a few of the guys come up um, at our last time. We got a few more coming up for the next time. Um, so the, the people down there, I just adore them, absolutely adore them. Um, and then, you know, being able to be a part of um, – you know, helping Damo out with the photography and stuff and then being, you know, involved in the AGBL, watching that grow and, and seeing the people that attend these events. Um, it's awesome. Absolutely Fantastic. awesome. Oh, good on you, mate. All right. Now, um, how's the COVID situation affecting you guys up there? Have you noticed any changes in, in business or? Yeah, look, um, it's affected us all, Dan. We've, we've been mm. pretty lucky being in far north Queensland. We haven't been affected uh, by it as, as much as most. Yep. Um, you know, it, it has affected us all though, um, you know, with the, the field having shut down, um, early COVID, that was a bit of a struggle, but we've, uh, come back in full force and, and everyone's loving it. So, yeah. Excellent. Well, that's good to know. Well, uh, hopefully you're there for years to come. You're a great field. You run a great store up there. I really enjoyed my visit and I thank you for making me feel welcome. Uh, when I did come up there for the visit and um, really like the culture and community that's been built up there in Townsville. So uh, well done to you guys for having well, a very you. significant hand in that. So um, all right. Now, um, Teagues, look, thanks again, mate. Thank you so much for joining us. You are a credit to the community. Um, it's it's fantastic to have you in the industry. Um, can you please tell our viewers and listeners how they can find One Shot Gel Blasters and yourself on social media? Um, basically just... Um you know, Facebook and Insta, One Shot Gel Blasters. Um, if you're near Townsville, uh, come in and see us at 42 Hugh Ryan Drive in Garbutt. Um, Other than that, check out any of our game footage on YouTube. Um, again, just One Shot Gel Blasters. Awesome. Okay, and guys, as always, I'm Dan from Ausgel. You can find Ausgel at www.ausgel.com.au across all the socials as Ausgel and on Instagram at Ausgel Ammo. Thanks very much for watching. See you next week. Thanks for tuning into our podcast. It means a lot to us. If you enjoyed today's podcast, leave a comment or review below and hit the follow or subscribe button. 
If you have any questions or want to be part of a future episode or even want to know more about Ausgel, head to ausgel.com.au to get in touch.